Hello there folks, hope you're all doing well. I'm here in Washington, D.C. And uh, I have some really sad news. I noticed this a little while ago when I was driving by, but uh, just like two buildings up right there is the other apartment building. I don't know if you guys remember, but they had a bunch of eucalyptus planted along the side. They're all dead for some reason. I, I, I'd honestly be surprised if they all died from uh, from the winter because, I mean, honestly, they're in like one of those protected spots, um, like in between two buildings. So completely sheltered from the wind pretty much. Um, although maybe it funnels the wind in, I'm not really sure, but they're in a pretty sheltered spot. And also uh, the one in my neighborhood, one of the eucalyptus cinerea survived and the, the, the cinerea, probably gunny eye, some other species there, all dead, unfortunate to see, chopped down. Uh, maybe they just cut them when they were showing a little damage, I don't know, but for whatever reason they are, they're gone, but thankfully they have replanted uh, one eucalyptus here. I don't know if this is another one here, uh, but uh, they got a nice one here. Uh, this looks like maybe scenery. I can't quite tell. You guys let me know, because it, it's got a little bit of a uh, less silvery look to it. It's sort of almost like a greenish uh, blue look. Uh, I can't quite tell. Let, let me know what you guys think, but it is a, uh, a beautiful uh, specimen regardless. Uh, and uh, nice to see it smells incredible. You rub your hand along here, get the oils on your hand. Just smells unbelievable, like like Vicks vapor rub, because that's made from eucalyptus oil. Um, eucalyptus oil just smells amazing. If you're ever in California and you get like the wind blowing on a, a street filled with eucalyptus, um, you know you can often smell that smell. It's just unbelievable. Uh, and here we got some beautiful. Looks like a puncha angle, a puncha um, elysiana spineless prickly pear. Of course, it's not spineless. It's got spines. But uh, yeah, my uh, also another thing which uh, I, I also just got some uh, amazing uh, cactus cactus books for my birthday. Another palm books stuff like that uh and uh, i'm super excited about that uh so fi finally i have some uh, some cactus literature succulent literature um and i'm going to try to learn more about that because i honestly don't know too much about the different species besides like the more common ones a bunch of humifusa etc but uh you know beautiful here these do look, these look like the same species here you got of course the yucca filamentosa uh well i think it's the color guard variety it's like variegated it's really beautiful very common here uh and uh yeah really nice to see but i just wanted to share that with you oh what do you know Check this out, another eucalyptus here. That is awesome. Okay, so we have another beautiful eucalyptus here. And um, yeah, check this out, beautiful. I had not seen this. So this is really interesting because they're not that commonly planted here. I, I honestly wonder uh, if this uh, and the apartment building, it's funny, it's two buildings up uh, where they planted this other eucalyptus. So I wonder if they were somehow um, in contact with the same landscaper or what, but uh, really awesome to see. It's got this beautiful trunk at that. It's almost like silvery green, uh, just really stunning. And uh, you gotta love that beautiful eucalyptus this this does look like i don't know i mean it does actually it sort of looks like cinerea but it also has i feel like the leaves are a bit more oval shaped instead of uh completely round like cinerea i don't know you guys let me know but beautiful eucalyptus and uh and um cacti growing here in, in, in dc just gotta love that beautiful all right folks like subscribe for more videos stay tuned take care have a good one you get that shot of that there Beautiful, look at that. Take care folks, I'll keep you guys updated on this one because it is very unfortunate to see that the other one died, the other one's died. So I'm, I'm interested to see how these do this winter. I will of course keep you updated. And this is, you know, I can let you guys know, it's a public spot here. So of course I um, don't mind it, I'll share the location. It's Albemarle and Connecticut Avenue, sorry. Albemarle and Connecticut Avenue here in uh, Washington, DC. This is like a, probably a mile up from the zoo. The zoo is just down there. So nice, nice climate here. Uh, gotta love it. Take care folks.